Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we have a product review. This, the G501 welding mask. I was sent this mask by my new channel sponsor, um, Cradmore Welding Suppliers. They've sent me over the new G501 welding mask to show you a lot and hopefully you'll see a lot more videos like this in the future. Okay, let's open this up and see what we've got. Oh, would you look at that. The beautiful G501 3M's latest welding mask. Hose attachment. If you'd like to see my other videos, you would notice that I haven't got this belt. I use a, um, a backpack attachment, but I'll definitely be using this one now, fresh. Instructions. Random stuff, you don't really care too much about instructions. And the beauty. The, the AdFlow um, particulate filter. And finally, a battery charger. quickly run through the setup of this mask and um, what you need to do once taking it out of the box. Here's the AdFlow respirator. This is what pumps the air into your face so you can breathe. Consists of your main particulate filter, a pre-filter. This makes uh, your particulate filter last a little bit longer and then your um, spark arrestor. It's basically metal mesh that stops sparks from getting through and destroying your filter. It goes together like this. Usually your filter, where I work at least, can last anywhere from two weeks to three weeks. After that you want to change it just so it doesn't kill your battery and your respirator too fast. The first thing I recommend is taking the battery out and charging it overnight so you've got a good first day of, of use and you can set timers and find out how long it runs for so you know for future use you grab your hose simple twist in and this is a um, ready to be plugged into the mask the belt is a little bit more trickier to set up but i've done these enough times to know the first thing you want to do is lay out the belt so you know which orientation is going to be so you don't put it on upside down then you can flip it upside down once you know. And you can also remember this way up arrow. There's me trying to show you well how to um, put your belt on properly and I've gone and made a simple basic mistake. I've forgotten to um, hook this in. Okay. Simple. 
Now it's done. There we go. That's more like it. The best features of the mask is your filter um, indicator. You have five lights. Three of them are green, two are red. And the first three, which are green, show you the blockage level. And then when it gets to um, one red, that says that your filter is um, blocked and it's draining your battery faster than it should. And then when you've got two red, that means you should change your filter. You can see here. And one of the best features of this, no matter what battery level you're at, you would always get the minimum air delivery. So if your filter is um, blocked or your hose is restricted, your power will turn up to um, compensate if you listen to this. You can see your numbers are going up. And when it reaches red, it gives you a warning indicator and then shuts off because it can't meet the minimum air requirements. There we go. Now let's take a look at the mask. This is um, a new updated design from the old one. I've noticed a few flaws that the old one had that this one is um, helping to solve. Such as on the old mask, sparks used to get down here and then get into your screen. And this is some of the new features being able to divert where the air goes to. So this would be, um, that says down and that says up. So the air will either come from the top of your mask down or from the bottom of your mask up, depending on what you like. And on this side here, it shows whether the air hits your face or goes onto your visor as like a, a demisting sort of ordeal. So here we go. This is the 9100. Um, it's got no ad flow um, resp respirator on this one. And then the G501. And this has been my um, long standing FX um, 9100. I've used this mask, say, six years now. Five, six years. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely mask. But this here is a direct upgrade for this one here and worth the upgrade a hundred times over. A lot of the problems that this mask has, this one has solved. I'll give you an example. When I was talking about sparks getting down here, you see that cover? Sparks would get down here and then um, settle either in your um, grinding area or worse, inside the actual um, screen. Another problem this mask had was a lot of dirt being able to um, get underneath here and make the screen dirty. See how dirty all of this gets? It shouldn't, shouldn't get that dirty. All round, using this mask five years, I haven't had a single problem with it. Some people's had issues of hinges breaking, but these hinges are um, still going strong from like 2015. And this here is my TIG welding mask. I don't use this while making pipe. Um, it's a bit, bit, it doesn't offer enough protection, I feel. You're, you're breathing in fumes all the time and you have to um, put goggles on if you want to grind and stuff. So I don't really use that for, for normal pipe welding. In my opinion, I think these are the three best masks on the market right now. And at least for my circumstances, they all share the same lenses, so I don't have to buy extra spares. Here's no lens filter. If you'll focus, there we go. And this, this is the newest feature of them, being able to change the color temperature. The old ones don't have that. At least on, on the one I've got, it doesn't have that. Here we go.
another feature the new um, screen has is an app there we go so you can control all of the um, same buttons through your app and you can also see the history so it's going to be interesting to um, see how long I've used my mouse for later on maintenance Someone, yeah. No reason to pretend if I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, your roll, your roll, pay so, pay so, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me, or you matter what. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, your roll, your roll, pay so, pay so, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me, or you matter what. Add it up, told if it's all me, everything is on me, go. And if you ever need to pack up and take your um, mask with you, this bag is um, it's got a nice feature of it where it can actually be turned into a backpack. So, I hope you've like, enjoyed that little overview of um, the G501 welding mask. <clears throat> I'd like to say a special thanks to Craig Moore Welding Suppliers for sponsoring me and giving me this mask. They only gave me the mask, my views on this um, is all my own. So yeah, so check them out in my description. I'm going to test this mask out for the week and give you a conclusion later on in this video and let you like, know my final thoughts. I already know that I'm going to definitely love it, especially if it's anything like the old mask. So. Um, yeah, I'll see you lot in the next clip. One week later. So, I've been using the mask about a week now, and I've gotten a feel for the features and some of the pros and cons. First of all, my opinion hasn't changed. I love it even if Craig Moore didn't send me this mask. This would definitely be my next purchase. With that being said, I'd like to say a huge thanks to Craig Moore once again for giving me the mask so I can show you guys. They also gave me a code ARC110 to grant you 10% off your orders. I highly recommend you take a look because they sell more than just welding equipment and I'm sure you'll find something you like. Remember ARC110. So the first thing you notice when you first put the mask on is the fitment. This is such a comfortable mask to wear. The straps are fully adjustable to spread the weight evenly over your whole head, reducing pressure points. People have asked me over Instagram, is the mask heavy? And it is more heavier than a standard non-filtered mask, but it's nothing you notice. Because the way the mask is set up, most of the weight sits on your head and you don't notice it. Next you would notice the clarity of the view filter. More than once I've tried flicking my head to close the lens, only to notice it's already down. And when you have the lens up, in the grinding mode you have a huge field of view. The free colour filter really helps add contrast to what you're welding. I find myself using the cool colour which makes the world look blue. I found that the different colours help you to notice different temperatures of the world pool from when it's cooling down or when it's at a molten state. The natural colour is the classic green welding filter colour and the warm colour was um, orange. And for pipe welding this didn't help me out because the whole of the world pool was the same colour so I blew through once while rooting because you can't see the subtle changes in the world pool it all looked the same molten orange colour. But overall the build quality of the G501 can't be matched and I can say this from experience of owning the FX9100. It lasted over 5 years and I could easily see it lasting another 5.
but with all reviews you have the pros and you have the cons but luckily for the G501 the cons are minor and mostly personal preference referring back to using the FX9100 the G501 still attracts grinding dust on the inside of the filter lens it's just one of them annoying things you have to deal with and having to wipe it out from time to time but what's worse is grinding dust gets inside the scratch lens then it settles on the fragile glass inside and out I feel that it's a poor design and would like to see it changed on the next mask I've changed the scratch lenses hundreds of times luckily I haven't left any scratches on the glass but I've seen people rub it with their dirty fingers and leave permanent scratches on their screen that's my first critique and my second one was my own fault because of my long hair the mask is sitting higher on my head than normal and because of the stock mask it doesn't come with any extra neck protection it left my neck exposed and in 20 minutes of welding I got burnt I know it's my own fault but I would thought I'd add it in here my whole reasons behind wearing this mask is for safety to me safety is paramount which is why I have the best welding mask on the market in my humble opinion welding is harsh for your body lungs and eyes which is why a mask like this should be a first investment and I know as soon as I'm done with this video I'm going to go straight to Craigmore and order myself some um, better accessories to protect myself and if you can't afford the G501 because it's new you can get the FX9100 it's just as capable as the G501 but cheaper and I know you won't be disappointed if you like this review video let me know in the comments and I can see what else I can review don't forget to add my socials in the description as well I had a lot more content up there that I don't put into video form don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see and I'll see you lot in the next video Zombie Apocalypse.